Visual EQ from Four Pockets. It's a wonderful EQ with uh, so many way, so many ways that you can affect your sound. Um, nice features of it. Um, number one here, what I always actuate is the um, audio analyzer. Well, let me um, turn all those off. And with the audio analyzer, you can you can see your sound. So obviously I'm playing the bass so you can see the lower frequencies as I'm playing. Play higher. So it gives you a good idea of like where your sound's being affected and um, what the frequencies that you're selecting are, are doing. Um, a nice, another nice feature of it that has a compression and a limiter. Um, I don't use this a lot because I'll tend to use um, another app for this, but you can choose presets. I, I like to use the limiter because um, it just gives it a smoother sound. So for this, I'm just going to be playing... Um, sort of a uh, blues melody, nothing fancy, nothing um, real melodic, just a standard blues progression. And I probably won't play it perfectly either, so bear with me. <laughs> um, so good features about this app, Visual EQ Console, is it has a uh, low pass and a high pass filter. Um, I don't use the low pass and high pass filter a lot, but what um, they do, say like the high pass filter, everything above a frequency that you select is going to pass through and you're going to hear it. It gets allowed to pass through, it gets permitted. So um, actuating the high pass filter and you can see it's... In the middle, you can't adjust it higher or lower. Let me see if you can do that from, from here. Let's see what that range does. No. Okay. But you can hear already how it affects the uh, tone. Oh, let me do this first so you can hear the tone without any. There's nothing on it. All I have is the uh, compressor, compression limiter, the limiter going. So here it is without anything. It's that Fender tone, nice, full, predictable sound that many producers like. So, with the high pass, depending on where you look, where you set it. So it cuts out a lot of the um, low end being a high pass. So the um, the highs are getting a pass through and the lows are being cut. Move it towards the low. All the way over. So I'm going to shut the high pass off, actuate the low pass, which is going to let the lows come through. So here it is all the way to the right. A nice thick sound. Thank you. 
So you can hear all the lows are getting permission to pass through, but the highs are being cut. It's not real dramatic, but it is definitely affecting the tone. So it is giving a good sound. Let me get them both going here. And we're going to let them kiss in the middle and see what happens. Here you go. All right, so that's enough with a low and um, high pass. I don't usually use those a lot. As a matter of fact, uh, most of the time I just run my jazz bass straight because it sounds so good. Um, okay, so high shelf, low shelf. So we'll start with the low shelf. Low shelf basically is just um, setting a frequency range and just imagine that range is a shelf that's just pushing whatever range of frequencies up or down. So um, low obviously is going to affect the lows. It will get boomy. Letting more mids into the range. Now, with this, you get way less control. I mean, it's going to just boost all of them. Um, if you do it super high, it's going to get distorted and, and really just out of control. Down low, cuts everything. Now let's um, do the high shelf. And same thing. Here it is hiding over there. It's going to let just, just the highs through here. Real crunchy, real crisp. We'll get it more into the mid area. I love a crunchy bass, but it's almost a bit too crunchy. Here we go, way over. A lot of ranges involved in this one. Gets all those mids. Let's lower everything down here. All right, so let's run them both together here. Um, you can get some nice tones out of this here. So, like, I, usually when I'm running an EQ, I'll, I'll I'll get the highs up a little bit, and I'll get the low up a little bit, and I usually cut a lot of the uh, mids. <laughs> So you can get some good tones, but you don't have the control. 
All right, let's get rid of those. And um, this is where you can really fine tune your uh, sound here. So red represents the lowers. I love that boom. And you can move it all the way into the mids. So like I mentioned, um, everything that you do with the assigned dot, say like it's the red dot, um, oops, fix that. Um, the red dot will affect the red section <clears throat> or uh, bank A and orange obviously bank B and so on. So this one is more of the mids. You can see the ranges that it goes. I'm not a mid guy. I like my mids lower. All right. Depends on what, what I'm playing. But usually I have my mids down. So I'm going to actuate, I'll actuate all of them at, at one point here. I'm just going through each um, frequency range just to kind of show you what they do. Um, this one is kind of in between. Get you some mids and get some highs. it up in the high section get a little crunch <clears throat> I love that crunch not too much crunch though because crunching can be harmful to your ears all right and here's the highs So this is where you get like some serious uh, crispness. And this one's really limited here. Doesn't have a good range, but it does what it's supposed to do. Too crisp. If I was a rapper, that'd be my name. Too crisp. But I'm not a rapper. <clears throat> if anything, I'm a candy rapper. So here we go with all the ranges, and I'm just going to kind of um, adjust them. Well, here's what I got left over. Let's just see what this sounds like, because this is all where I left these sounds. So... <laughs>
All right, let's get that low end mids down high. Too low. So you can really fine tune your tone here. So. How many more times must I play with this song? Usually I just try to find that sweet spot with the uh, lows. Um, I don't have the best headphones, obviously, but uh, I just try to tweak and do what sounds good to me or or what sounds good with the song that I'm working with because that's very important. You want the bass to be sitting just right. Okay, let's add some high shelf and low shelf. I mean, you can mix, you can turn everything on if you want. And uh, look at all those dots, it's very confusing. But you can do it if you want. And that high shelf. Very intuitive, very easy to work with, brilliantly executed by uh, four pockets as usual. So this one I didn't, I didn't really make a, I didn't make a song. I just did a blues progression. So I apologize for being a little bit boring with this one, but I um, just wanted to show you um what this eq is capable of um you do have presets also if you don't want to tweak your own stuff here the, the names are very straightforward treble boost bass boost Scoop mids. And you can use any of these you want. I actually use um, vocal lift a lot. Um, I'll put this on my voiceovers, but I'm not for this one. Um, I'm actually I could actually let's do it. Gonna add audio unit extension. Gonna find four pockets visual EQ and I'll add the vocal vocal lift vocal lift and you can hear I mean just the, how crisp and how much more um clear my voice just became from adding that so so that's pretty much it four pockets visual eq a uh, really great way to really personalize and tweak your sounds you can use it for anything you can use it for uh guitar synthesizer drums uh bass whatever you want to do and it's very uh intuitive very dynamic so I highly recommend getting this to uh, add to your arsenal.
um, again, I really appreciate you guys checking in. And um, as usual, I'd like you guys to remember to be kind, like, and subscribe.